don't own a pocket hole jig anymore. Somebody else owns my pocket hole jig. But I'm in a situation where I'm going to have to do it and, and, and use what's essentially a pocket jig, which basically means I need to pre-drill. Now, uh, it's not in a position of a cabinet or anything, so I can get away with it here. Um, you want to try and... So I knock this off the stand. You want to try and, and, and angle this where it's going to come out halfway thickness-ish through your board. There's a reason for that. When this goes down in there, and you know it's going to pull into the surface of the board a little bit, even after you drill your hole, the center of the board is going to be the least likely to split with drilling or pulling. And the other thing to keep in mind is you've got a pretty steep drill, so I always start out more perpendicular, and then I'll turn it. So I'm actually drilling into the wall of a small hole that I drilled down and then over. Um, and I try and measure about where I think that screw is going to pull down to and make sure that the screw, tip of the screw won't come through the bottom of the surface that I'm working with and it won't protrude through the back side of the next piece I'm working with. Uh, so it's not terribly complicated in that way. The other thing I'm going to mention is if your saw isn't cutting square and you're relying on this joint to be square, pulling it this way where it pulls this piece to that piece, if this isn't square one way or the other, that's the way that other board's going to look. Now, it's easier to drill into the end grain through the other piece and make it square if it's a little off. It's harder this way. You have to be a better woodworker. So let's see if I can drill this and get close. Sorry for the blip in the film. I had to go get my square. So about where this thing crests, you know, right in that area, make a uh, mark over. And then about three quarters of an inch-ish. And I'll come back again and do something real similar right there. And uh, that'll give me an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, these boards aren't going to be seen, but they are in a position where I can't access there. And this needs to remain flat, so I don't have any choice but to drill that way. I'm going to move this back. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Stuff. So many things I can pile on here. So adjust the camera in the most redneck fashion ever. So we're just going to go down. And lean it back until it's pretty close. That will be pretty close. Now, yeah, so we're just going to drill down here. And that changes some angles, guys. I know that this is the second board I was working on. I, I got uh, distracted and kept working instead of filming. So, it's a rough guessing up there. <laughs> I'll throw a couple screws in here and see how she looks, or a screw or whatever. Whoop, wrong one. So that's enough right there for what we're doing. That'll do it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped give you an idea of just what I'm looking at. Trying to come out about center grain. You see I'm just a touch low. Um, right there-ish. You want to kind of follow that profile. Remember the head of the screw is going to hit and force it down a little bit. Um, that's kind of it.